High of 96. On Friday and Saturday, sunny both days. High around 90. I'm Tim Livingston from the KFNX Weather Bug Weather Center. Currently in downtown Phoenix, it's 91 degrees. Next news in 30 minutes or when it breaks. Here on Independent Talk, 1100 KFNX. Your nest egg, how big is it going to be? Will it be ready to use when the time comes? Wouldn't it be great if there was a way to put a guarantee on your nest egg when retirement enters a picture? At AZRC, we can help you do that. We're the experts at helping prepare your nest egg for guaranteed retirement plans, giving you peace of mind and financial independence. Our knowledge, combined with modern retirement design technology, makes it easier than ever to plan for a safe, secure retirement. See what Arizona Retirement Company can do for your nest egg today. Call 480-524-0508. We'll always audit your accounts for free to help keep you on track. And if you call right now, AZRC will take $200 off any MRD retirement or estate plan. Call AZRC now at 480-524-0508. That's 480-524-0508. AZRC. We do the math. The 2017 Arizona Nonprofit Expo is this Saturday, September 23rd, 10 a.m. at the Arizona Historical Society and Museum, located at 1300 North College Avenue, Tempe. Support local nonprofits and community organizations doing great work in the state of Arizona. For more information or to register for your free class pass, go to aznonprofitexpo.com. That's aznonprofitexpo.com. There is a fifth dimension beyond that which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is the middle ground between light and shadow, between science and superstition, and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area which we call the twilight zone. Welcome to the Reality Check. I'm Ben Shannerman, your host, here with you every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. on Independent Talk, 1100 KFNX. When this dead hand moves, High of 96 on Friday and Saturday, sunny both days, high around 90. I'm Tim Livingston from the KFNX Weather Bug Weather Center. Currently in downtown Phoenix, it's 91 degrees. Next news in 30 minutes or when it breaks, here on Independent Talk, 1100 KFNX. Your nest egg, how big is it going to be? Will it be ready to use when the time comes? Wouldn't it be great if there was a way to put a guarantee on your nest egg when retirement enters a picture? At AZRC, we can help you do that. We're the experts at helping prepare your nest egg for guaranteed retirement plans, giving you peace of mind and financial independence. Our knowledge, combined with modern retirement design technology, makes it easier than ever to plan for a safe, secure retirement. See what Arizona Retirement Company can do for your nest egg today. Call 480-524-0508. We'll always audit your accounts for free to help keep you on track. And if you call right now, AZRC will take $200 off any MRD retirement or estate plan. Call AZRC now at 480-524-0508. That's 480-524-0508. AZRC. We do the math. The 2017 Arizona Nonprofit Expo is this Saturday, September 23rd, 10 a.m. at the Arizona Historical Society and Museum, located at 1300 North College Avenue, Tempe. Support local nonprofits and community organizations doing great work in the state of Arizona. For more information or to register for your free class pass, go to aznonprofitexpo.com. That's aznonprofitexpo.com. There is a fifth dimension beyond that which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. 
It is the middle ground between light and shadow, between science and superstition, and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area which we call the twilight zone. Welcome to the Reality Check. I'm Ben Shannerman, your host, here with you every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. at Independent Talk, 1100 KFNX. High of 96. On Friday and Saturday, sunny both days. High around 90. I'm Tim Livingston from the KFNX Weather Bug Weather Center. Currently in downtown Phoenix, it's 91 degrees. Next news in 30 minutes or when it breaks. Here on Independent Talk, 1100 KFNX. Your nest egg, how big is it going to be? Will it be ready to use when the time comes? Wouldn't it be great if there was a way to put a guarantee on your nest egg when retirement enters a picture? At AZRC, we can help you do that. We're the experts in helping prepare your nest egg for guaranteed retirement plans, giving you peace of mind and financial independence. Our knowledge, combined with modern retirement design technology, makes it easier than ever to plan for a safe, secure retirement. See what Arizona Retirement Company can do for your nest egg today. Call 480-524-0508. We'll always audit your accounts for free to help keep you on track. And if you call right now, AZRC will take $200 off any MRD retirement or estate plan. Call AZRC now at 480-524-0508. That's 480-524-0508. AZRC. We do the math. The 2017 Arizona Nonprofit Expo is this Saturday, September 23rd, 10 a.m. at the Arizona. We have eternal peace at affordable price. Tired of cut rate funerals? You've tried the rest, now try the best. We offer a timely death discount for couples. You don't have to bring out your dead, we pick up. We have the cheapest place to live, and you can stay forever. That's the type of sponsors we get here at the Reality Check. Now, there are two groups of people in modern-day America that want to send us back into the Stone Age. Those two groups are the extremist Muslims, which offer no rights for women. They can't drive cars. They cut their head off if they're caught cheating. They're not allowed out unless their husband who has six other wives is with them. And then we have the other group that's just the same way, loony liberals. They want you to bike everywhere. They want you to keep your AC off. They want to raise the price of all electricity to make your life uncomfortable. It's amazing what common goals they have. You know, if I were to break into your house and mow your lawn and mop your floor, would I be able to stay in your home? Why not? I'm contributing, right? Let me let you guys in on something. It is September. And you know, usually during election season, the big elections, they have what's called the September surprise. And this September, there is going to be a surprise. You're going to find out that a lot of people in the media are going to start to lose their job. Not for their poor ratings or their lack of common sense. But a big scandal will be unleashed soon. And we will cover that very soon. But I'm just giving you guys a little heads up on that. Now, as far as Donald Trump, he's not winning on a lot of his policy. But he's definitely winning on his predictions. I mean, you look, he was saying that Obama was tapping Trump Tower. And guess what? Turns out he was 100% right. So they want to arrest Manafort for illegal activities from wiretaps that were before he was even on Trump's campaign. So interesting. If he did something wrong, then why didn't they arrest him then? And another thing would be if Obama knew that this guy was doing something wrong, and then he let him be on Trump's campaign, which was either sabotage 
or really he didn't do something wrong, which is it? At the end of the day for this, all we do know is that Barack Obama illegally wiretapped Manafort and probably other people in Trump Towers. Was it to get campaign information so he could tell his buddy Hillary Clinton? Who knows? But either way, he should be in jail. I mean, Obama's a fraud. Whatever way you want to look at it. So, speaking of poor uh, leaders, when you're watching football this weekend, a lot of poor GMs who don't get talent for their team. And, yes, it probably hits home in, in Arizona because you hear how they talk about how much talent they have, and you look, and the game's just, yeah, not very good football. A win, indeed. Better than my New York Giants. Now, there's a team you can talk about, a GM that needs to be fired. What did we need as a Giant fan in the offseason? We needed a running back, like you couldn't believe, and we needed new offensive line. Our offensive line was putrid. Stop talking about how not good Eli Manning is. Nobody's going to be good unless they're young and can run, and that's never been Manning's thing. But, I mean, the way he got hit left and right all game, it, it's, a, it's absurd that we didn't get one new offensive line win. What, were they going to get better? I mean, we wasted a pick on Eric Flowers. He was horrible, horrid. He moves slow. He moves slower than me. I'm not a lineman. He is absurd. And then the absurd things you saw last night in the Giants game. It's fourth and three, and we're running a two-yard route. Like, I don't even know in football when you would ever run a two-yard route. And everybody knows that you have to run at least a four-yard route because you're coming in on the ball. Same thing with fourth and ten, right? What did we do? We ran an eight-yard route. Uh, I just I, I don't know. <laughs> horrible offense, horrible defense. That's the Giants. But just a lot of GMs did nothing to address their team's needs in the off season. I don't I don't know why they have jobs. Please let's fire them. Let's fire. I don't know what else to say about that. So I'm Ben Shannerman, host of the Reality Check. And when we return, we're going to talk about crayons. If you want to reach out and touch us. You can email us at therealitycheck at usa.com. Purple Lotus Productions would like to invite you to the Embracing Your Journey Expo on Sunday, September 24th at the Doubletree Resort in Scottsdale. Enjoy a variety of topics and vendor booths showcasing insights into wellness, nutrition, and the meaning of life. The Embracing Your Journey Expo on Sunday, September 24th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the Doubletree Resort in Scottsdale. For more information, visit purplelotusproductions.com. That's purplelotusproductions.com. Or call 480-296-1917. The business highway is full of potholes, speed bumps, hairpin curves, and missed turns. And there aren't any signs saying rough road ahead. If the day-to-day -day running of your company is turning into a turnpike of troubles, be listening for answers with the great American business guru. Thursday afternoons at 3, host Gerald Harris gives practical advice, solid information, and insightful suggestions to not only keep your business afloat, but take you to the next level of success. Call in with questions, get the answers you need. The great American business guru. Thursdays at 3, 1100 KFNX. As an 18-year-old, I let my mistakes kind of take over my life. I was 0.5 credits away from completing high school, and I didn't do it. Ten years later, at age 28, Jackie finished her high school diploma. When I found out that I was pregnant, I know that I had to do something for myself if I wanted to make her a better person and provide a better life for her. My family never stopped pushing for me to be better because they knew what I could become and who I could become as a person. My support team is amazing. The educational director, my sister, and even my seven-year-old daughter has just been more than the support that I could ask for. I've been given an opportunity, and I'm just thankful for it. No one gets a diploma alone. If you're thinking of finishing your high school diploma, you have help. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. That's finishyourdiploma.org. Brought to you by the Dollar General Literacy Foundation and the Ad Council. 
Family Law Report is the show that confronts difficult issues related to marriage, divorce, and children. Join Family Law Report every Sunday at noon to discover more about the divorce process or to weigh in on important current developments in family law. Family Law Report, every Sunday at noon on KFNX. Are you tired of dealing with chronic joint and back pain? Stem Cells of Arizona is the answer to your pain. We have had a 98% success rate managing and removing chronic pain. We are using stem cells that replace damaged, inflamed, and painful tissue with fresh, new, healthy tissue. Stem Cells of Arizona is located at 15425 North Greenway Hayden Loop, Suite A200. Call 480-247-8660. That's 480-247-8660 for your free consultation. Von Wehunt speaks truth to power. Von Wehunt speaks bluntly about the need to correct America's course quickly. No excuses for putting America first. Von Wehunt, the Barbarian. Thursdays at 9 p.m. You are about to participate in a great adventure. You are about to experience the awe and mystery which reaches from the inner mind to outer space. Please stand by. Welcome back to the Reality Check. Ben Shannerman, your host, here with you every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. on Independent Talk, 1100 KFNX. If you missed the first segment, we talked about the left's Frankensteins, from Black Lives Matters to Antifa to the DACA crowd, many others. We talked about the growth of the Reality Check. So today was the first day of, uh, I coach a few soccer teams and they had practice. And I just wanted to thank my daughter, Alexis Shannerman, because she actually ran the practice of the kids while I had meetings with the parents. That was really nice of her. Good experience for her. And she was super excited to do it. And I want to thank her for that. So let's talk about the Emmys, the Oscars, the Schmendrix. I don't know what the award show was, but Stephen Colbert. This dude is a hero to many, but really just a putz. The guy can't write any of his own jokes. He writes less of a show than I write of mine. That's pretty pathetic. He is a disgrace to America. Not funny at all. And, I mean, Stephen Colbert, like, this guy is just clueless. Here he is, can't even run a show about... Fools that give themselves awards and talking about how the people vote on it goes by the people's vote. What people, what people vote on these award shows? I've never met anybody who's voted on any of these awards. It's just a bunch of clowns in Hollywood giving themselves awards to make them seem important. It's not you or I. It doesn't have anything to do with how many people went to see something or what we rated the best or had the best singing or acting or anything of that matter. It's a bunch of clowns who give other clowns awards, just like they do in the news industry, where one clown gets in trouble, you know, and then they make an award for him because he lied about some document he had or military service that somebody else had. Remember that one? And they made up an award for Mr. Newscaster. That's the same thing as all these clowns. Another disgusting thing, Huma Abedin. I mean, number one, she should be in jail. Not only because she's too stupid to walk the streets. Anybody who married Anthony Weiner and stayed married to that clown should be in jail just for stupidity. But the fact that she had, I mean, I can't say the word, but let's just say she went into court and begged that Anthony Weiner shouldn't go to jail because his child needs him. No, actually, you should go to jail not only for stupidity, but for wanting someone like that around your kid. And that should be the reason why Anthony Weiner is in jail, so he can be away from kids. Because if he's not trying to hook up with some kid, when he's trying to hook up with one kid, he has his kid on the bed. That's just filth and disgusting to any decent parent or any decent human being. You don't even have to have your own kid. You know, before I had kids, I knew that's disgusting behavior, right? And Anthony Weiner should too. Although he's named appropriately, he should be put in jail. Well, let's see. These days, um, even a crayon's name draws criticism. You know, Crayola had a contest where you, there were five possible names for their new crayon. Blue Tiful, Blue Moon Bliss, 
dreams come blue, reach for the stars, and star-spangled blue. So obviously you get the point, it was a blue crayon. Not to throw anybody from Gila Bend off or any liberals off, just so you know. So Crayola announced the name of their new blue crayon. It was called Blutiful. That's the one that won. It beat the other names. It had 40% of the vote. So now we have clowns. Clowns to the left of me, clowns to the right of me, right? Of thousands of English and foreign words for the new blue you, Crayola mangles a real word and fails teaching kids color name and spelling. Some clown actually put that on social media. Here's another one. Kids are going to be so confused with color names now. The dumbing down of U.S. continues. Crayola replaces dandelion with beautiful. What is wrong with these imbeciles? I mean, who cares what they name it? Don't let your kids color then. How about that? Who cares what they name it? It's not a derogatory term. It's supposed to be fun and create some imagination. It's not supposed to be proper grammar. You got the grammar Nazis over here. Oh, you didn't do this. You didn't spell it right. Oh, it's not a real word. Who cares? It's a crayon. It's a crayon. You walk your kids around the streets with signs to not watch porn. You bring your kids in to go buy drugs. You don't care about that, right? You won't give your kid a shot. You'll let them die. You let some uh, baby who was born alive die on a table because you don't believe in saving him, but you care about the grammar on a crayon, right? I mean, liberalism, a real mental disorder. You know, before all the liberal hubbub about the crayons, your humble host actually tried to test the crayon market. And why, you ask? I say, because I can. The real truth is I'm still trying to color in between the lines. But... Every once in a while, I get one right. And I have one dream, one lifetime, and one day. Hey, so anyways, enough about my thing. I thought it would be great to, you know, send a list to Crayola a long while back before all this nonsense happened to get some of my creative colors. And the board of directors wrote back to me, actually, and said, you know, feeling that uh, my crayon ideas would offend people. And that they wouldn't have them buying more crayons. I'm going to ask you, my public, my audience, my intelligent people surrounding me, to tell me what you think about my crayon choices. You know, one of the ones I like a lot was uh, diaper brown. I think that would be a great color. How about trailer trash white? That would be another good crayon. Food stamp green. Clueless gray. P yellow, toilet water clear. Uh, another one I like, Nagin chocolate, Duke white, Jackson baby blue, black male black, diarrhea green, car sick yellow, roadkill red. I'm not really sure why Crayola rejected my crayons, but you know. I I'm sure if they let them go on, we could have all these loony, loony liberals complain about my colors too, right? Because the crayons aren't appropriate. But, you know, whatever. They're okay about doing whatever they want and it feels good and leaving their kids more than they actually watch their own kids. But they're worried about crayons because crayons, you know, they're important. They're the way of life. We all know warning labels. They're really important. So... Sometimes when using a product or looking at something in the store, it's amazing to see some of the stuff they've written on the products. I mean, everybody knows, you know, some of the famous ones like the McDonald's lawsuit where you have a cup of coffee. This coffee may be hot. And, you know, and I was just thinking, like, why do the companies waste their time in this, obviously, because of the lawsuits. But I've seen some, some good ones like warning label on a fire log and reads, caution, risk of fire. I hope so. That's what I'm buying it for. Recycled flush water, unsafe for drinking. But can I skinny dip in it? Never iron clothes while being worn. Now that one, I've always wanted to try. I mean, can I iron my pants while going commando? Not a good idea, huh? And then there are the ones like 
child stroller. Remove child before folding. You know, I'd say if you don't know that as a parent, then especially the guys should step up, insert their junk in the stroller, and close it multiple times so they cannot procreate anymore. Do not use plastic bags in the crib. Yeah, if you think that was a good idea, then you just shouldn't have kids. This film has been formatted from its original size to fit the screen. I mean, what a rip. You know, I was thinking when I got this DVD and I got home and I turned on my 27-inch TV, that it would really be the same size as the movie theater. Now I'm really disappointed. How about the keychain link? Not intended for mountain climbing. I thought that when you went to the 99 cent store, they would really have some good mountain climbing equipment. Cigarettes may contain chemicals bad for your health, but they do have that magic filter at the end that fixes everything, right? Or maybe not. I'm Ben Shannerman, host of The Reality Check. When we return, we'll talk about some sad news that a show friend died. If you want to reach me, you can email me at therealitycheck at usa.com. Where the truth lives. Independent Talk 1100 KFNX. Listen to Independent Talk 1100 KFNX streaming live at 1100 KFNX. Residents in Puerto Rico are being told to evacuate before Category 5 Hurricane Maria roars onto that island sometime early Wednesday. Correspondent Nick Payton Walsh is there. There is the potential of a storm surge of 11 feet. That's nearly twice my height. Maybe 25 inches of rain in some places. It's the concern, really, the governor has about the huge areas that are prone to flooding. And then, of course, what the impact of large amounts of rain might do on the hilly areas and landslides. At least 149 people are dead after a powerful 7.1 magnitude earthquake struck central Mexico Tuesday. Brittany Kaiser, who works in Mexico City, says her building started violently shaking as she tried to escape. Everybody made it outside very safe from my building. It didn't, there was no damage to that particular building. But everywhere around us was uh, quite damaged. As soon as we got outside, uh, there was a huge dust cloud on our left from the building that had collapsed on the road. Right now, down futures up seven. I'm Elliot Francis. From the KFNX Weatherbug Weather Center for tonight, clear and a low of 73, sunny and breezy and 99 for tomorrow, clear and 74 tomorrow night, sunny and breezy on Thursday with a high of 96, and on Friday and Saturday, sunny both days, high around 90. I'm Tim Livingston from the KFNX Weatherbug Weather Center. Currently in downtown Phoenix, it's 87 degrees. Next news in 30 minutes or when it breaks, here on Independent Talk, 1100 KFNX. A storm is brewing in the Valley of the Sun. Join Sun Devil Football September 23rd when the Maroon Monsoon rolls into Sun Devil Stadium. The Sun Devils open Pac-12 play against the Oregon Ducks in a North vs. South matchup. Arrive early, wear maroon, and be Sun Devil tough. Tickets start at just $35. Get your tickets today by calling 480-727-0000 or go online to thesundevils.com. Go Devils, go! Hey, it's Seth Liebson. Are you tired of your APS bill going up year after year? Did you know that if you miss the deadline, going solar still works? Who knows when and how much the power company may raise its rates in the future? That's why you need to call Solar Sandy. Solar Sandy can save you money on a bill that you're already spending too much on. Just think, you can save thousands on your electric bill and control the costs of your electricity to avoid unexpected rate hikes. You can also increase the value of your home and help the environment. And remember, zero upfront costs or fees. $200 in solar savings incentives from Solar Sandy at installation is just one of the many benefits of going solar now. So take it from me, Seth. Call Solar Sandy at 623-850-8229. That's 623-850-8229. Or visit AskSolarSandy.com. That's AskSolarSandy.com. And make sure to tell her that Seth and Chris sent you. 
The Dell Walmsley Show, weekdays at 2 p.m. Why do I bother? Because what I want you to understand is you can do something about your situation, where you are, what you can do, how you can isolate and insulate yourself from all of this political and financial garbage that goes on out there. The Dell Walmsley Show, weekdays at 2 p.m. Everything you need to know about finance and real estate. For more information, MyPassiveIncomeSystem.com. MyPassiveIncomeSystem.com. We really ought to get the patriots of this country, not just the motorcycle clubs and people that you know still believe in the Second Amendment and private property, but the veterans who've been targeted by the Democrats, by the globalists. I mean, we've got the reports, I've shown them on air, where DHS domestic terror warning, uh, where they said that we stand by veterans being the number one terror threat in America with no evidence, no metrics, no nothing. Alex Jones, nights, 12 to 3 a.m. Independent Talk, 1100 KFNX. You are about to participate in a great adventure. You are about to experience the awe and mystery which reaches from the inner mind to outer space. Please stand by. Welcome back to the Reality Check. Your host, Ben Shannerman, here with you every Tuesday at 9 p.m. on Independent Talk, 1100 KFNX. If you missed the last segment, we talked about those offensive crayons and the warning labels. So, the seltzer man, everybody knows, Bernie Sanders, right? That's why a lot of us escape New York to get away from the people that spit on you when they talk with the tuna breath. Remember, like 30 years ago, here's a clown in Bernie Sanders who was saying, Medicaid for all would bankrupt this nation. And what's he say the other day? We need Medicaid for all, and we need it now. Yeah. It's just another pathetic Bernie Sanders. You know, these people don't understand that there's, I don't know if they don't get it, but there's a lot more recordable stuff now. And we know what you said 10, 20 years ago. It's documented. There's audio of it. There's video of it. You can't get away with that. Like when the famous Barack Obama said, if you raise the debt, you're unpatriotic. And what did they do? He raised the debt more than any of the presidents combined. So today we have to mourn the passing of our beloved old friend, Mr. Common Sense. Mr. Common Sense was, has been with us for many years. No one knows for sure how old he was. He'll be remembered as having cultivated such lessons as knowing when to come out in the rain, why the early bird gets the worm, and that life isn't always fair. And common sense lived by simple, sound financial policies. Don't spend more than you earn and reliable parenting strategies. Adults, not kids, are in charge. Mr. Sense was pushed aside for entitlement. Your neighbor has made good financial decisions, worked hard, and has money. Therefore, you should also have his money. Otherwise, it's not fair. I should be able to have as many kids as I want. Who cares if I can't support him myself? I'm entitled to live free. His health began to rapidly deteriorate when well-intentioned but overbearing regulations were set in place. Reports of teens suspended from school for using mouthwash after lunch and a teacher fired for reprimanding an unruly student. And mothers placing their children in daycare only worsened his condition. When teachers are allowed to do their students and not get in trouble. Mr. Sense declined even further. When schools were required to get parental consent to administer aspirin to a student. But could not inform the parents when that same student became pregnant and wanted to have an abortion. Finally, common sense lost his will to live. As the Ten Commandments became contraband, churches became business, and criminals received more rights than their victims. Common sense finally gave up when men were blamed for most problems in marriage by the so-called feminism movement, which supported women having full-time careers, allowing someone else to raise their kids, kids and deciding that single parenting was better than having a husband to teach their sons to be men because they could do it better themselves. Common sense was preceded in death by his parents, truth and trust. 
his wife discretion, his daughter responsibility, and his son reason. He is survived by his two stepbrothers, my rights, and I'm a whiner. Not many attended his funeral because so few realized he was gone. The rest thought it was a lie and did not trust because they had so many indiscretions. Others thought they had no responsibility or reason to attend. The rights let them do what they want, and they did not have time, for they had to work a four-hour shift with only one break. Poor Mr. Common Sense in the world today is fading away. Now, let's see. What do we want to go to next? We have such a variety of things. I like this one. So, we're going to talk about OK Stupid and Planned Murderhood. Also known as OK Stupid, I mean OK Cupid, see, I'm tricking myself, and Planned Parenthood. One of the most popular dating sites has introduced a new way to filter out anti-abortion right users. Starting on Wednesday, OkCupid okay users who have answered no to the question, should the government defund Planned Parenthood, will be awarded a badge that reads, I stand with PP. Yeah, mm, that's an interesting one. The badge will be prominently displayed on the user's profile. In a statement, OkCupid okay said that the badge is a way to not only support the healthcare organization, but also promote others who have the same badge, thus making the browsing process that much easier for those who want to partner with similar political views. Okay, Cupid's partnership with Planned Parenthood is really exciting because it enables us to help people connect on the issues that matter to them. In this current climate, this matters more than ever when it comes to finding your person. We know that Planned Parenthood is driving conversation, support, and education that millions care about. When we looked at the data, we saw our community on OKCupid was talking about Planned Parenthood. So we decided to make it easy for the folks to find each other. So basically, those who want to murder can get together. And they have an outlet. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much for OK Stupid and Planned Murderhood. There's other things you should know. You know that paper money's really made of cotton, right? Heinz 57. That was from the 57 variety of 57 different pickles that they used to carry. Your stomach produces a new layer of mucus every two weeks. Otherwise, it would digest itself. A raisin dropped in a glass of fresh champagne will bounce up and down continuously from the bottom of the glass to the top. A duck's quack does an echo. Every person has a unique tongue print, so no licking at the scene of the crime. 315 entries in Webster's 1996 dictionary were misspelled. The spot on 7-Up comes from its inventor who had red eyes because he was an albino. On average, 12 newborns will be given to the wrong parents daily. Hey, they made a show about that. It was called Switch to Birth. Pretty good show, I might add. Warren Beatty and Shirley MacLaine are brother and sister. Most lipstick contains fish scales. That's pretty uh, sick if you think about it. But then again, there's a lot of things. Everyone knows there are no clocks in the Vegas casinos. So let's see. I'm going to go with this one. Nice little story. It's not a story, actually. It's my lawsuit. I'm going to sue. Why am I going to sue? Because food made me fat. My parents, because they made me poor. My teachers, because I'm not intelligent. I'm going to sue my work because they made me show up for a paycheck. I'm going to sue my ex-girlfriends because they weren't the one. I'm going to sue my cat because he doesn't have a job. I'm going to sue my credit card company because they charge me interest. And that's the only interest they show in me. I'm going to sue Arizona because they give out free money, but not to me. I'm going to sue whoever made pens because if I got poked in the eye by a pen, I might go blind. I'm going to sue everyone who doesn't vote for me to become a president. I'm going to sue a surfer because he stole my wave. 
I'm going to sue McDonald's because a piece of ice fell on me when I was drinking a soda. I'm going to sue myself because sometimes I make the wrong choices. I'm going to sue you because you didn't smile enough when I was talking about suing people. Can someone get me Gloria Allred's phone number, right? Because she's the Sue Queen, the Sue Queen of the world. She'd sue somebody dead because they're dead. You see, interesting, uh, one of the Antifa protesters who got arrested, a uh, very attractive woman, <laughs> not um, at the UC Berkeley, had four weapons on her. And there's a nice, like I was just telling you about how the imagery and we could find people, there's a nice picture of her meeting her buddy Hillary Clinton on the campaign trail. Another great Hillary Clinton voter. But what do we know, right? How about the story that disappeared, Harvard? How disgusting they are. If you want a bad education, go to Harvard. Because what do they do? They designated Chelsea Manning. Remember the traitor who gave away secrets and helped kill some of our troops? Yeah, that Chelsea Manning. Who got let out of jail by her buddy Barack Obama. They let her be a fellow. You're listening to The Reality Check. I'm Ben Shannerman. And when we return for our final segment, we'll talk about the worst deals that Barack Hussein Obama made. Remember, you can email me at therealitycheck at usa.com. I'm Francis Battaglia, president of Independent Talk 1100 KFNX, and we're expanding our lineup of local talk shows. We're looking for individuals, business owners, and professionals to host their own radio talk show. This would be a new weekly show that either you pay for or help get sponsors to fund your show. You would pick the topic, select guests, and take calls from the listening audience. There is no experience necessary, and we provide training. Call me at 602-277-1100, extension 1463, 602-277-1100, extension 1463. Do you think the air inside your home is cleaner than the air outside? Think again. Hi, I'm Jonathan Waterworth, owner and operator of AZ Healthy Home. Contact AZ Healthy Home today to set up your healthy home inspection. Let us help you eliminate indoor pollutants that can trigger allergies and respiratory problems. Don't wait. Cleaner air in your home is just a call away at 480-471-0111. That's 480-471-0111. Or find more info at azhealthyhome.com. Every day, millions of people move into middle age and beyond, and many experience age-related changes, with memory issues being the most noticeable. It may start with something small, like forgetting an appointment or why you walked into a room, but can lead to a much bigger issue down the road. Emerald Laboratories Memory Health is doctor-formulated and contains the breakthrough memory booster, Cognizant, clinically proven to reduce cognitive inhibition. Bariva turmeric can also be found in this powerful formula, along with a number of targeted whole food antioxidants known for brain health. Emerald Laboratories Memory Health also contains methylated B12, which is important since research indicates that 25% of American seniors are deficient in B12, a known factor of cognitive decline, potentially leading to memory loss. Ask for Emerald Laboratories Memory Health at your local health food store today. Or learn more about it at shopnaturalproducts.com. That's shopnaturalproducts.com. To me, Trump is like our first citizen president. He talks like like Jimmy down the street. This is the Joe Walsh Show. Joe Walsh, nights at 7 p.m. Independent Talk, 1100 KFNX. Hi, Rick and Dave here. The Elton Brothers on KFNX. Have you ever pulled in front of a listing, can't get a hold of anyone, and just wanted more info and photos? That's so annoying. Well, we have an app for you. Simply text ELTON to 323233. It's completely free and downloads right to your mobile device. So any real estate sign across the valley. Text ELTON to 323233 and get all the MLS info right to your phone. Immediately. The Elton Brothers, putting real estate in the palm of your hand. Tune in Saturdays at 10 a.m., 1100 KFNX. Need hope, encouragement, and faith for your day? 
Tune into Testimony with Jensine Bard every Sunday, 6 p.m. on Independent Talk, 1100 KFNX. You are about to participate in a great adventure. You are about to experience the awe and mystery which reaches from the inner mind to outer space. Please stand by. Welcome back to the Reality Check. Ben Shetterman, your host here every Tuesday night, 9 p.m. on Independent Talk, 1100 KFNX. So we can't let a week go by, of course, without our buddy Brian West from NBC Fake News who vandalized. Oh, yeah, right. He was in the back of the van while the statues were getting vandalized, spray-painted, and saw the guy right off on the bicycle. So when is he going to get arrested? I asked the Phoenix police. You can email me. You can call the radio station. Let us know when he will be getting arrested, because we'd like to know. Criminals should be arrested. Let's talk about Glendale Arena. Birdie no, poorly run. Disgraceful. The other night... They couldn't even get the ice ready for a preseason hockey game because they had some minor league concert. It's another disgrace. And that's exactly why Coyotes are going to be gone from that place. But amongst the other hundreds of reasons, but poor mismanagement all over the place. Trump's UN speech. Nice, bold, good speech. And I love hearing these people from the UN aren't happy from it. You know, who cares? They're worthless. If I was president, I'd get out of the UN right away. It's just a waste of our taxpayers' money. Right? What happened to the IT guy, the Anon guy, Debbie Washerman Schultz? Now they're talking about, oh, there's nothing really to see here. Besides whatever crimes you can find, you know that this guy stole at least a quarter of a million dollars from the taxpayer's money in equipment. Now, I guess we'll pitch my business idea here. Take a look. Come on in and take a look. I've gathered some upstanding companies that want to earn your business. If you need quick gifts to get you through the holidays and you never tried a quick gift before, borrow your first five gifts and get a free delivery. We'll help you stage the fake robberies so nobody knows better. Fast, discreet, and easy to fake your loved ones. Come one down to get a quick gift. Come to Rejects Casino, where everybody fits in. Live CDs played all day. We have specials, chicken Mondays, chickens eat for half price. Pork chopper Wednesdays, fatties eat for free. Limit two meals per fatty. Baby got back Fridays. If you got lots of junk in the trunk, Pack it for free on Fridays. Now that we're done with the minor league stuff, let's get uh, on to our buddy Barack Obama. Yeah, I was just thinking, I was talking before in the show about GMs that need to be fired and talking about bad deals. Here's Barack Obama. I mean, think about some of the deals this guy made. Too many of the list, I know, but we'll try to run down a few here. Bo Bergdahl, right? Here's Obama. Gave away five high-level terrorists who have committed crimes since. Murdered people, I'm sure. For a traitor. Not for an American soldier, but a traitor. And did he get the traitor back to at least send a message that we will get you back and hang you because you're a traitor? No. He actually brought this guy in like he was some type of hero. But what happened to the investigation on Bo Bergdahl? Why don't we have any answers? You know, I think Jeff Sessions needs to be fired if he doesn't get us some answers on any of this stuff. All I hear him with the investigations and there's no results. We see the evidence, we see what's going on, and nobody's getting put in jail. You know, it's like a store that just takes away the groceries from the shoplifter and lets them go. People need to go to jail for it to stop. About the Iran nuke deal. Right? One of the worst deals. We gave them cash, and we didn't hinder their program in any way. Hey, you want to build nuclear weapons? Great. We'll even pay you for it. Well, that's a good deal. Hey, I made a deal. That's Barack Obama. I made a deal. Oh, you made a deal. Yeah, that's great. 
great deal you made. You paid them to stop, not to stop, but to actually encourage them to do more. Great deal. Paris Climate Accord, embarrassing. We pay everything. We cut this, we cut that, and no other country cares less. Remember the omnibus spending bill when he first started roads, bridges, and $500 signs. Remember, every one of those orange signs you saw with a little guy with a shovel, that was 500 bucks out of your pocket. Yeah, I wish I could get 500 bucks to cut some wood and put up an orange sign. Remember the Cuba deal? We moved a mile and they didn't move an inch. The Cuba deal, a favorite from your buddy who was too busy to vote against Obamacare, your own Jeff Flake. Right? Where was he? He was ready to go to Cuba. He couldn't care less. The people are getting abused there. Nope. He was all excited for Obama to get that deal. The Affordable Care Act. Now, that's just like Jeff Flake. The irony in the name itself. Right? The Affordable Health Care Act, which is affordable for no one. Everybody's, not only what they pay went up, but the actual premium, the actual deductible is even worse than the premium you pay. And the premium is bad enough. So now you're paying twice as much for something you have to have and you can't even use it much. And then you remember how I was saying last week, how do you even go to another job because you can't afford to lose your health insurance for the three months because you might get fined. Or no, wait, you will get fined. How about another bad deal Hussein made? When he appointed Comey, the head of the FBI, right? When is he going to be arrested? Another criminal. Oh, I know. Trump broke him. Woo is him. And he shouldn't be prosecuted for his crimes because he got spanked once. Yeah. No, I'm not buying it. What else do we have on Obama? Not reigning in any of the banks. The guy talked big, how he's going to stop banks and do this to banks and that to banks. He did nothing. Wall Street, he did nothing. Glass-Steagall Act, did he bring that back where he separated the commercial and investment banks? No, not at all. The lack of investigations, I shouldn't say, Obama said, he, I'm getting to the bottom of this, just like he had laser focus on the jobs, right? Obama on Benghazi, no investigation. Obama on the IRS, nothing. Even though the evidence was there to show they denied certain people nothing. Fast and Furious with the guns, that... uh investigation on Obama's getting to the bottom of it border patrol officer killed many other people killed with American weapons nope nothing but he's getting to the bottom of it yeah you know, it's just kind of like OJ Simpson who's looking for the real killer and that's gonna happen he's gonna find him they'll both find him on the golf course the golf course is to go where you want to find murderers you want to find the solutions to stuff how about Obama doubling the national debt another bad deal how about Obama encouraging racial stress, right? This guy made no peace. He just made it worse. Not only the racial stress, but the people that he's friends with, like Al Sharptong, a murderer. And he invited him to the White House. How many times? Like a hundred? A murderer into the White House. You know, you could say... Obama's deals were kind of like snatching defeat out of the jaws of victory, right? That was the Iraq War, another one of them, where we had victory there and Obama snatched defeat out of the jaws of victory. He's kind of like Pete Carroll, right? Hey, Pete, you want to win another Super Bowl? Nah, I'll pass. And I'm sure uh, Marshawn Lynch laughs all the way about that one. Pretty sad. Well, back again, Jeff Sessions, he should be fired, I think. It's time. We have no clarity on any of these investigations, no arrest yet. I mean, how long are we going to have to wait? How about John McShame? Now, all of a sudden, he doesn't agree with Lindsey Gramnesty? They were best buddies. I think he's the guy who just wants attention. You know, if you give every kid in a room a quarter, John McCain's not going to be happy unless he gets 26 cents. Right? Because John McCain's special. 
That's John McCain, Mr. Special. Sad but true. You're listening to The Reality Check, here with you every Tuesday at 9 p.m. I'm Ben Shannerman. Enjoy your week, and tune in next week for another powerful episode.